What up players, Wobots here up in this mode. Today I've got an unboxing to you, uh, for you, from the Dark Dark Eldar line, and it's the Dark Eldar Grotesque. And what's kind of sad is that it comes in this generic Citadel miniatures package. If we zoom out, it's one of these new clamshells packages, but it doesn't have the artwork on the front or the back, depending on how you look at this back side like all of the other new fine cast and plastic single model releases have. So I bought a couple of these, so I popped one open and let's take a look at the sprue now. When it's all painted up, this is what it's going to look like. This is from the Games Workshop website. When I paint mine up, I'm probably going to make it match my racks by bruising up the skin, making it not look as uh, anemic, I think one of the posters wrote on my on my last YouTube video for the the racks, but making them look more purpley and bruised. What I what I really love, which I just noticed when I was looking at the individual parts, was this little creepy little baby hand popping out of his back. So we'll see that in just a second. But yeah, here's the model. Uh, I think the only option for the left hand is this grass grabby Terminator gauntlet. But for the right hand, you can either use have this this choppa. Or, let's take a look at the, I don't know, is this a liquefier gun that he's got on his left hand? Kind of looks, it looks in the way it's built a lot like the other liquefier guns that are for the racks and other stuff. Um, uh, yeah, let's take, a, let's take a look at it. So, so on the sprue, this is what it looks like. Here you've got the one of the right hands with the, with the blade, the choppa. It's got fuel injectors. Or, or, or drug injectors, I guess. Right here, beneath the beneath the elbow, and you've also got here's a little baby claw arm or one of the little appendages, and here's his. It's got to be some kind of gauntlet. <clears throat> There's so much flash on this. I got this right when the grotesques were released, so I don't know if they had worked out all the kinks in the in the casting process yet, but I can see there's a lot of flash I'm gonna need to take out. Oh, and look, here's some more baby appendages. Creepy. Or is that just the same one, but a different, yeah, it looks like it's the same one, but just another side. Then you've got the head. I think that for the the Eldar, Dark Eldar Kronos or Talos pain engine, here's another little baby appendage, you have two masks, or three, or, or something like, but uh, a couple of different options that will fit the grotesque. So I might wait till I unbox that to see what my options are before building this guy up. Here's his torso. Can't tell if these are supposed to be like socket holes. They look like they're supposed to be molded like that for, for stuff to be inserted into, like input, outlet, sockets. Gross. Gross. I think somebody made a comment on how... I can't remember off the top of my head, but I totally agree with whoever wrote the comment that the racks have a very Hellraiser-esque feel to them. And this definitely, with these new Dark Eldar models, with the drug injectors and just how the coven for the homunculus seem to just have all this weird stuff in it. Here are the legs, the legs and the feet. Cool little studded on the un underside there. It's a great little effect. And it's connected to the spine, which has some flash on it. And here's the liquefier gun. Can't really see, that might be a those might be air bubbles, can't really tell. Just the flash is so distracting looking at it. Here's some more fuel injectors. So I'm assuming that you stick these into the various sockets here next to the spinal cord. Yeah, two on this side and I think I saw one in... No, one, two, three. So these are places that you could maybe stick in some of these extra fuel injector bits. Huh. 
I'll build this up, see how it looks, and then I'll come back with you in a bit and we'll finish this off with my view and analysis to see what kind of bits you have left over that you can use for other projects and just how the model feels. Okay, see you when I get back. Alright players, I decided to go with the liquefier gun, whatever this is, because I figured that it was a lot more dynamic looking than the sword. And there he went. <sighs> he decided to try to make a run for it. No, grotesque. You must stay on my painting table. So, I love the the bionic look to his gauntlet here. All his little robot robotic joints, especially with the uh, the Necron rumored to be coming out soon. I think that it's a cool little thing to paint my test my metallic painting chops on. I think there's a little bit of flash that I still need to remove these little spiny bits, but yeah, like I said, I went for the liquefier gun. I think going painting the tubes luminescent green is going to be a lot of fun. I also, oh, these little baby, baby hand appendages on his back are just so, so awesome. Walk like an Egyptian. And uh, these tubes that I had to glue into his body. So, let's see, the only thing I don't like about this model, I decided not to go with the Talos Kronos helmet head either, because you would have had to fit it over this head, and I decided not to do that, <clears throat> because the helmet for the Talos Kronos, you get four different options in that box kit, but it's only the, the face plate, it doesn't come with the head. So the head for this model, the grotesque, would need to attach to the body, and then you'd have to put fit the model right over and it looked a little bit too bulky and I kind of like that this creature's body looks so disproportionately huge to it when it's painted up and it looks all bruised and swollen and just distorted I think it's gonna look even better so that's what I decided to do there um, yeah I'm gonna do a war boss painting tutorial on this guy kind of in the similar vein to my racks so be looking out for that too. I'm almost done with my How to Paint Warhammer Ghouls for Warhammer Fantasy. So stay tuned as Spookytoberfest continues. And thanks for watching.